Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how I do my eyebrows. This is not how to do your eyebrows, this is how I do my eyebrows. So um, if you want to know how I do them and maybe it'll work for you, then stay tuned. Let's get started. Also, if you like this eye look, I did another video on it. It'll be, I think it's going to be called the Halo Eye using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. So let's get started. We are going to use the Koki eyebrow pomade. I prefer pomades. I just seem to have, I don't know. It's like when I use a pencil and I do, I have used pencils, um, the Anastasia definer, brow definer. I really like that, but I just feel like I get better results with the pomade. So anyways, we're using the pomade today. And my first bit of advice is never turn your mirror. If you have a mirror like mine that turns from magnified to regular, leave it on regular when you're doing your eyebrows. Because at least until you completely, until you think they're done, then turn it over and see what you've done. <laughs> anyways, that's what we're going to do because I was terrible about that. I always would get up close and then it would be like, well, that's not what I wanted them to look like. And I finally learned, don't turn it over until you think you're done. And so, and I basically take, this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills angled eyebrow brush. It's, it's got a spoolie at one end and an angle brush at the other. I have other ones, but this is the best one because it's, it's stiff and thin and it just does the best job. And when I am doing my brows, I basically want to follow the bone line because I've reshaped my eyebrows so many long times. They've been super thin, which they're, they're not super thin right now, but they look super thin. Uh, they're thin as in they're patchy because I've plucked them so much, but they're not narrow thin is what I'm saying. I, I mean, I, they were pencil thin at some point in my, <laughs> life because that was the style at the time anyways now they're they're wider I guess not thicker because they're very much not thick I need to get some lash grow brow grow stuff and make them fill in but this stuff's expensive and I just don't have the money for it right now I tried to win some with I think uppy beads she had some in a giveaway but I didn't win anyways I usually start with the bottom and draw my line and when you get out here even if your eyebrow goes down don't go down at our age everything goes down and we want to make an illusion that it doesn't that it is Perky. Oops, got a little too high there. That's okay, I can fix it. And then you just draw it the way you want it to look. And of course, my eyebrows end like right right here. I had a mole removed from right there. And so there's a scar there. You can't see the scar very well, but it's the end of my eyebrow. There are some hairs that grow like around it and in it maybe, but they, they're crazy. And then when you get down here, you just kind of want to make little hair strokes upward. Then take your spoolie and brush the hairs upward. Be careful not to go too far because it will spread that pomade. And then I usually pull it a little taunt right here just so that it doesn't make little ripply lines. And then you flip it over to the magnified side. After you think you're good, flip it to the magnified side and brush away all the stuff you couldn't see. And 
Most of the time, all I need to do is take my spoolie in a little bit more because there'll be parts that were a little heavier with the pomade. And I want to uh, bend those down a little. I got a little wide out here. But I'm not going to try and fix it because when I do my second brow, sometimes I end up fixing this one again to match it. So now I go back to the not magnified side. And this is the hard part, is making a match. And I just want to stick to that bone line. My pomade is a bit dry. Somebody told me what to get when I complained about it in another video and I forgot what it was, but I haven't gotten it yet. I have to go back and find it. Although it wasn't an eyebrow video, it was just a, probably a get ready with me. So I may never find it. Should have wrote it down. Anyways, it was what to get to put in your pomade to make it soft again. But I saw a lot of things online that said put coconut oil in it. And I have coconut oil. I just haven't done it. I'm not really telling you what I'm doing, but basically I'm just following this bone line. And my eyebrows are always shorter than I want them to be, so I bring it out, try and make them the same length, which is just, you know, a guesstimate, because I don't measure. Then just brush them up and take this like that because I haven't found one yet. Pencil, pomade, anything that doesn't. Well, maybe the Wonder Brow. Actually, I don't remember. Um, that doesn't flake when you do it. That's good enough. If you keep messing with them too long, you'll just mess them up. If you're like me. That's why I don't do them on camera because this can go on forever. I'm trying to get them even and matched and beautiful. Anyways, after that, I would go back in again and brush them real good. And then I would probably go back over my eyeshadow, just the part I put under the brow and put that on again because, because I just took it all off when I brushed it. And then I would just put that little bit of highlighter back beneath that brow to make it stand out a little more. And boom, that's it. That's how I do my brows. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It's all at Bentley K or Bentley K1. I have it listed down below. Follow me on all those if you want to see what I do when I'm not making videos. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next video.